boys. We did it. We did it. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it just majestic? Yes, I did this on a stream, all right, and not on video, all right, and I got berated and insulted then, okay? So, I mean, shut up. <laughs> I apologize for the lack of uploads. I woke up in the middle of the night the other day just shivering. I felt like a like a little Irish ice cube. I don't really know if you could put an ethnicity on a, an ice cube, but uh, <laughs> I guess there's a first for everything. But today I decided I'm going to use the last of my credits to do the last thing that I think warrants any sort of a purchase here. I did buy survival mode the other day, but that's because everyone on my stream was like, buy it, James, you should get it. I would totally support the creation club. And I was like, of course, Skyrim Squad. But uh, I'm not going to get any of these hours or stuff. And the Dwarven Bundle, I mean, it looks all right, but... It's like the same price as Saints and Seducers, and I have no idea what it's like, so... The only other one I would even consider is Hendraheim, because I love player homes. But we're not here to do that today. We're here to once again, and hopefully for, you know, the last time for a while, knowing me probably, though, it won't be the last time for a while, because uh, I love to give Todd my money, is uh, this beautiful red guard here, who I'm assuming is Cyrus. Hopefully we can meet him and uh, enjoy whatever this quest is. It's called Dead Man's Dread. It released like two weeks ago with the other uh, Oblivion content stuff. And it's talking about Cyrus, the hero Strauss Mackay, who if none of you don't know who he is, he is the main protagonist of the best Elder Scrolls game in the series, Redguard. We don't actually ever know what happened to him. And I don't really think Creation Club is canon most of the time. But then again, Bethesda make you pay for this, so maybe it is. But all I'm owning on here is the fact that it includes two weapons, multiple new outfits, and a naval home. And of course, <laughs> like always, our boy Chris Takahashi. So once again, my friends, you hear the sweet sound of Todd's pockets getting heavier as I sell my soul once again. Yeah, but let me just clarify what happened here, right? When I always assume, all right, because Creation Club stuff always automatically downloads when you buy it. Everybody knows that. And none of you can tell me that's not a thing. And I bought the Adventures backpack the other day. And I assumed it downloaded. And when I just seen it here, I was looking at the owned and being like, oh yeah, it's definitely downloaded. And that's what I was doing. But I didn't actually go into it where it said downloaded. So you can't blame me for that. That's your fault. So I'll let this finish downloading and uh, I'll see you guys in game. So we've started another new quest called The Restless, and we have to browse the books at the Winking Skeever. You know, man, I actually can't fathom it. This, this quest is like 8 euro, because it's 750 credits, which are the lowest you can buy. But you can get like Oldrum Legendary Edition for literally a tenner on sale. And I just don't think Bethesda understand how money works. I'm so close to this tower, I have to explore it. Are you ever really close to a place that you know is going to take you forever to get to later? And you're like, you know what, man, I'm going to get this. All right, I think it's time to use our navigational skills. <laughs> and man, all these things are in solitude. Seriously, the solitude series, like we can still go into that and, and redo that dungeon, I assume, and stuff. Also, the purple... Stop talking to me. Also, that purple butterfly, you know? Real cool stuff. All right, we have to go over and, I guess, read this book. This very specific book on this table. And I mean, I don't even need to read it to now know we need to find the pirate's corpse in Castle Dower Dungeon. Okay, so there's actually a few choices here. We So to get there, we obviously need to go to jail. So we either have to get arrested or convince the guard to give me access. But because I'm level 55, I think you're stupid, Mineta. Yeah. <laughs> She's actually starting to scare me. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to this nice fickle guard here. No. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we head in this direction and uh, go on up here. My man's doing a triathlon. Where are you off to? Right, it must be a specific guard inside here. Bro, how do you know I'm a thief? I haven't even joined the thieves guild yet. What the hell? <laughs> Look how big and burly I am. Meow. Am I right, boys? Right, we're in... We're in the castle that we're done. The NPCs are so talkative today. So I guess we're going to try and find the stairs down so I can try and convince a guard to let me go into whatever this new place is. Hello, solitude guard. Right, so we have a few options. I need to inspect this cell. Can you open it for me? I want to poke around the cell. Is this enough to open it? I want something in this cell. Open it or I cut you open. I'll go persuade. My man sounds so... Ugh. All right. <laughs> We'll let you, but just this once. <laughs> Kevon's note. 15 men, a sunken treasure, and a lost ship. That's what I left behind. It took less than a day to sail to Blackbone Isle. Captain said we needn't worry about the cold, so we left the furs and packed the steel. Seemed like an odd thing. No one but us knew about this place. 
Still, it didn't matter much as we're making good time. I reckon we were about a league away from the cave when all of a sudden the wind died. They came up behind us, sabers rattling like ice raids. Next thing I hear is a scream. I jumped onto the skiff, cut the bastard loose and started to paddle. Didn't have time to look back. Now, time's all I got. Maybe if we had more men or a sodding priest, we could have made. I've got the map at least, hid it under a loose brick behind the bench. I just need to get out of this dungeon before the sickness takes me. All right, all right, pretty cool. So there's obviously this island we can go to now. Right, I guess we uh, we head out now, and uh, the optional quest isn't disappearing. Oh, never mind. Is the loose brick down here? I am so stupid. I, I like, okay. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Hello, loose brick. Map to Blackbone Isle. Okay. So we got to find a spare boat and travel to Blackbone Isle. All right, and a, a miniature island's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. We could uh, we could see a lot with an island. So let's go find this boat. Okay, we've arrived where the boat's supposed to be. I think we're at the wreck of the Brine Hammer, is it? No, it's Orphan's Tier. We're at Orphan's Tier. Man, there's a castle over there. I, I'm just I'm itching to go and discover. Let's use Nerve Shatter. Let's make this appropriate. So... We found a, a fellow human called Celeste. I really hope none of these characters win Redguard because I only played like the first 20 minutes on uh, GOG. Because by the way, if you want uh, if you want it, you can get it on GOG. Okay, we got the Blackwater Brigand boss killed to get the Blackwater Blade. Absorb 30 points of stamina. Does 32 damage. Is this one-handed or two-handed? We'll check that in a second. We'll get this gold and I guess we'll read his note. All right, so basically the note's basically just this guy being like, hey, I can't find it ship but it doesn't matter because we can just rob people here so these are blackwater brigands or brigands or however how do you pronounce it is it brigand or brigand i feel like it's brigand and i feel like somebody has already typed something really angry at me for saying it wrong <laughs> oh do i loot or do i leave do i loot or do i leave oh, oh. all right we'll leave in fact oh no there's a chest never mind loot i will not fail the adept lock i did not fail the adept lock all you who insult me for failing lock picks guess what you were wrong i'm actually really good at it all right i mean i guess we'll take the ship over to the uh, Brigand Island. Is there another one? Bro, there's another one just sitting here, stuck on a rock. I mean, buddy, you tried. Oh, we ran out of charge. I want to see what this blade's like. It's a one-handed sword. Bro, this is, I actually thought it was a two-handed. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty decent. I feel like they gave us this. I feel like it's gonna be really appropriate to the quest. I feel like it's gonna be like a two-to-one in terms of people who are using stamina over magic. Okay, so we've arrived on Blackbone Isle, and they're using the waves from uh, the Dragonborn DLC, so that's pretty cool. There's a crash ship over there. So is this literally like a, a miniature area? Oh, is it, is it just a single dungeon? Man, look at this. I can't get the cave up because there's so many markers here. Uh -huh. Oh, whatever. I feel like just going over to the ship and seeing what's on it before we continue on to the cave. Man, I knew even though it was an island, I knew there wouldn't be multiple locations. Unless there's just a bunch of unmarked locations. There's a rabbit just <laughs> skating on by. <laughs> Look at that lad go. So is there anything interesting in this ship? I really hope so. Man, I feel really cold because I'm sick, but this just makes me feel colder with all the ambient sounds and stuff. I mean, we have some clams. Isn't that a plus? Oh, there's a chest here. Uh, we got some uh, radiant loot, but I mean, I kind of expected that. Whatever. I won't bother going around the island now. I'm just going to go and uh, head over to this cave, see what's inside. Man, I really, like, I have to say, the one thing about Dead Stranding, I, I, I now crave in every game, as long as there's something to do in between, is I hope the next Elder Scrolls game has that kind of scale and it doesn't feel like this really small map okay i've entered the cove and the skeleton came charging at me so you didn't get to witness the wrath i did <laughs> on this bony boy but uh this ship this this is a pretty nice looking uh place i have to admit i'm assuming the dungeon is basically the ship but uh, i killed a skeleton boy and i'm going to try and count them all but i mean i'm probably i, I assume there's going to be way more than 15 because bethesda aren't capable of counting Although it wasn't Bethesda who made this. It was Chris. Don't let me down, my boy. Chris, come on. We need exactly 15. Otherwise, how can I ever trust you again? <laughs> we need 15 bony boys. That's three bony boys. That's for... Oh my god, this is a tanky bony boy. Bro, what the hell is with this guy's health pool? Seriously. Holy crap. Wait, what number was that? Is that six? Oh man, I've actually already forgotten. No, <laughs> I've already forgotten. These ones are so tanky. Is there any chests? Oh, there is. Man, that was such... Oh, well, I mean, there wasn't really anything of use in it, so... <laughs> Uh Oh, a strong box. Are you ready, guys? You're going to see me not fail at lockpicking. Guys, did you see that? Not failure? Did you see that? Did you see that? You did, didn't you? Yes, all right. I will charge my weapon. Right. Can oh, no, I don't want to drop you. No, sir. Man, you always have them people who are like, uh, oh, you need to level up. It's just sitting there. Why aren't you leveling up? Maybe because I want to save it for combat and use strategy to kill my enemies. Ooh, we entered to a skimmy with me. Man, I, I've lost count. I'm not counting them anymore. I've actually managed to lose count of like five. <laughs> All right, let's kill more bony boys, doi. Doi. 
to achieve what we need to. This probably is going to feel a lot bigger on the inside than it did in the outside. Man, I tell you, I really hope the outfits we get, because I haven't seen any of them yet, are actually really good. Can I stop opening the book accidentally? My man trying to hit me while I'm trying to gather some flute. I didn't actually hit him at all there, but he managed to die anyway. And that wasn't because I missed. That's because this game has terrible colliders. And you know I'm right. Alright, we'll do some exploring. Okay, there's some dead crew around. What's in the wardrobe? Scrub clothes. Bro, I don't recognize these at all. Please don't tell me these are what you get. Oh man. Don't tell me that's one of the outfits. By god, that'll be chia. And 8 euro. Come on. <laughs> I'm not a cheapskate, but Jesus. Alright, what's in door number 3? 2? I can't count today. Man, I'm telling you, this is starting to feel like a player home. This is really starting to feel like a player home. I really feel like that's what they're going to do with it. We have a lot of places to go here. But I feel like down is the way up. So that that's my new motto of the day. Down is the way up. Yeah, this is just an end room, it seems. Yeah, look, there's an alchemist lab. In Ooh, a skill book that I haven't read. Wow, potions. Man, I'm telling you, there's an arcane enchanter and an alchemy table. Alchemists, unite. Look at this. Look at this heavenly picking. Watch this be a player home. I'm telling you, man. I should have just brought feckin' Hendraheim. Hendraheim or whatever. Why did everything fall through the table? All right, I don't think there's anything of interest in the rest of this room. And this just seems to be another dull, empty room with dead boys. More specifically, dead bony boys. Is there more doors? Oh, yeah, there's more doors over here. Oh, look. A workbench. Wow. Oh, my God. Look. It's a skeleton. It's another skeleton. Oh, look. It's Baby Yoda sitting on the bed. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll head down. This is going to be a player home. Man, but I'll have to fast travel to it every time. I do like how isolated it is. So I feel for some people, the isolation of its uh, position will definitely make a lot of those... Uh, introverts happy who are like yeah i don't want to be anywhere near the rest of the world or nazim so this is where i'll make my last stand <laughs> all right i guess this is a another door to go through a proper one so oh, is there anything over here no it just loops around okay all right what's what's this place called door all right okay we'll head into door all right what is behind door number 17 <laughs> oh jesus man that actually scared the crap out of me holy crap <laughs> oh my god it's just a mannequin. That doesn't make it any better, but oh, I hate these things. Okay, so, uh, search captain. But don't tell me this is Cyrus. I am going to be so upset. Captain's journal. All right, so thank God it's not Cyrus and are protecting the relics that belong to him. Apparently, uh, the ship guys were just stupid and steered them uh, adrift. So we have a weapon here. Cyrus's saber. Oh. Alright boys, alright, we're getting somewhere. Cyrus's saber has absolutely no effect. Okay, it's basically like any other skimmy wimmy. Great, awesome. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, never mind. It does, it has a different design, but like, uh, uh, oh well. Nothing to help a, a, a two-handed build here. Oh, we, we can, we get Cyrus's outfit. Okay, alright, that's Cyrus's outfit, cool. Does, does Cyrus's outfit give us anything? No, no it doesn't. It just, it just, my cat is smiling. <laughs> what the hell is that face? Oh my god. Hello, ghost sailor. That's right, third person players rejoice. I was gonna say the skeletons were too easy, but of course they give us something a, a bit difficult. I need to use some alteration here. Get myself a bit of a shield. Feel like we're gonna die here. This is just a, a little bit of a feeling. But there's a lot of these boys. Is this is this actually worth it? Like seriously. Not a thing. We got one sword, which uh, has an effect. One. One sword. Well, at least we know Cyrus isn't dead, so that's something good that came out of all this, I guess. Get that big bike, man. Of course, the outfit is literally useless. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not insulting poor old Chris making these mods, of course. But my God, man, this is. <laughs> Some of this crap, I swear to God. And I'm not just being one of those people who are, who are crapping on the Creation Club, because I've given them all a fair chance. Jeebus. Some of this stuff. None of this stuff is worth it. That stamina blade, I could make one of them myself now. And I have low enchanting. Alright, so that's the ghost captain. So I guess there is actually 15 ghosts. I haven't been counting. Maybe some legend watching this video has counted. For that, I give you my praise. My brother slash sister slash companion of the... The Northern Cold Lands. Man, so much restoration. We're going to be level 60 so soon. And I'm so excited because I've never been level 60. I am like the worst Elder Scrolls YouTuber in the world. Because I have not played these games to the point others have. <laughs> Man, these clothes are like, they're cool. But like, nostalgia is not enough here. Alright, I guess maybe it's not a player home then. But maybe it's not over yet. We do have to leave, so. 
No, we, we, we completed it. We completed it. I guess technically it is a player home because you can stay here and sleep. Is there no way to clean it up or anything? I'm just going to have a look around the uh, island. I already checked that ship over there. So let's see if there's any other places. No, there's a, there's an invisible wall. We can't, we can't go to the back of it. We can't go to the back of it at all. Let's try the other direction then, I guess. I love how we can see the edge of the sea. Does that make us a true pirate? Man, I actually, there's an invisible wall here too. By God, I actually, I'm not even joking. I think this is just the, <laughs> the worst one I have played so far. Man, nostalgia is, is just not enough to warrant spending that money. Again, no, like the, the saber looks cool. And I mean, it is a unique weapon. Let's try it on some of these mud crabs. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if it had its own little unique saber kind of move set? You know, you did a little jab, jab, jab. You know. <laughs> right. Well, mud crabs don't uh, cause any problems, as always. Let's try. Uh, let's try bear in the big blue house here. I think there's another bear over there. My one-handed isn't very high, so we're not going to be doing a whole lot of uh, damage here. Man, I feel like wearing Cyrus's outfit isn't actually going to feel good unless unless you're playing a red guard. Just simply because it's so iconic to him. And like, it's like the one good thing that came out of the game. That me putting it on as a Khajiit, I don't know, it just would feel like an insult to the one good thing that came out of that game. Other than the uninstall button. <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use the backwater blade for a while. Just see what this is like. Because I guess, you know, it, it, it looks like an oblivion sword. This thing actually looks I really like the design. I love the engravings on it too, and all that good shenanigans. Tell me, right? Is there is there a creation club thing actually worth trying? Like, I mean, that that came out and was like, hey, this is actually really good. Was that Forgotten Seasons quest line any good? I mean, was it longer than uh, Saints and Seducers? I like Saints and Seducers. Again, I just think that felt like a 750 one. This Cyrus quest should have been like a 200, 250 credit one or something. My boy's approaching me again. Let me guess. It's a letter from a friend. Oh, it's a pirate's note. Oh, we got a pirate's note. We just kill these. No, thank God they didn't spawn inside my house this time. Let's kill these big boys who are uh, a little bit confused. Oh my God. Man, that was a close one. That was a close one. Never mind. <laughs> Why at level 55 is this still a thing? That is actually so dumb. And some of you want me to play in legendary, bruv. To be fair, my heavy armor isn't actually very high. So maybe that contributed towards it. Right, I guess we try this again, but I'm going to summon a, a Dramora boy this time. No, this was the wrong one. Courier, why are you going into my house? <laughs> what are you doing? We just killed this bandit chief. It's just a bandit chief that's being a nuisance. Like, what kind of balance is it getting small level bandits at this level? But I guess it's always nice to get the, the little bit of extra gold we get. Can I do a sprinting attack successfully? How that hit? Don't know. How's it feel to get big my eat? All right, let's go look for the courier. Oh, here he comes. All right, let's see what this uh, pirate's note says. Man, I told you guys. I told you. I was going to end it, but I was like, damn, I didn't expect that at all. I guess we'll um, we'll head out and claim it. There's no harm in it. But uh, for some reason, it wasn't showing me the map marker again. But I think it took it away because I think you have to travel by boat one more time. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure there's a marker there. I just, uh, I didn't see it. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's claim our, our new home. I'm pretty sure I own two homes already. I think I own Bree's home. So how do we claim this bad boy? Not this. This definitely is, is an upgrade, but I still don't think it's worth 750. I think it's, it's now become a 500, just like Hendraheim, except with the added quest, give it that extra 100. I am a man of economy. All right, so apparently we, uh, we claimed it. Does it remove all the skeletons? Oh, it does. It, it, it's removed all the skeletons. Somebody, uh, somebody cleaned this up for me. I'm not going to use it, but uh, at least we have it. <laughs> Man, when I open my map, I actually can't fast travel. Oh no, it's like glitching and not showing me the local. No, show me. But it's like taking away all the icons. That's so weird. Man, I mean, we got we got two more weapons. A player home and some clothes. <laughs> Out of all the ones I've played, I definitely would put this at the, uh, the bottom of the list. But uh, I think I'm going to leave it here. Again, let me know what other creations are actually pretty decent. I'd like to know. But uh, yeah, I'm still a better Skyrim player than you. And you still suck. Okay.